All right, my friends, no time to waste here. Did you know that the United States has multiple patents on how to steer and control hurricanes and tornadoes? Yes, this is very real and it's backed by sources, as well as our own NOAA website, which discusses weather manipulation and what steps you or I would have to take in order to do our own weather manipulation. My friends, this is no joke. Many people believe that weather manipulation was used for Hurricane Helene, then somehow coincidentally stalled over the rare lithium producing towns of Western and North Carolina, which is the exact location of the largest lithium deposit we have in the United States. Now, something to keep in mind while moving forward, ever since we left Afghanistan, we have lost the ability to mine lithium there where most of it used to come from. Now we are stuck having to fill this insane demand we have for this lithium right here in the United States. Once again, the largest deposit being right over the towns that just got completely destroyed by by this hurricane. All right, so before I tie this all up with this lithium situation, this video you're looking at right now went super viral over the last few days. We have over 3 million views on this clip here where we are talking about these weird anomalies that were taking place right before landfall of Hurricane Helene. There's a lot of controversy about what's going on here, but these things pointed directly to where we saw landfall. Not only that, but we saw some weird scalar looking beams in there, a lot of weird stuff that we were breaking down, and it's causing a lot of talk about this situation, which is the point here. We've already established that weather manipulation exists, but I want you to take a look at this website from 2007, my friends, that's 17 years ago. And it came out from the Telegraph. It says, scientists a step closer to steering hurricanes. Now in this article, they explain how they are using technology in order to control, manipulate, and steer these types of storms, including tornadoes. So when you take things like this, and you also add these patents that have been out for decades, you begin to to see a picture being painted of what is really going on. Now, this isn't to say that every bit of weather is manipulated and controlled. It means that they have the capability of doing this and it's right in your face. Now, I can't say for sure that Hurricane Helene was controlled by this type of technology, but it certainly looked like it was and it certainly did epic record-breaking damage that we have not seen in any of our lifetimes. So this will come down to you making your own conclusions and taking the data and making your own educated decisions on what you're seeing. We you're in a place in history where it's almost impossible to be able to trust our own media or government. And I don't need to go over explanations on why that is. So now that we have all these steps in place, think about the situation as a whole. This wild hurricane comes barreling towards Florida and we suspected that once this thing got close to land, it would rapidly intensify and that's exactly what it did. And in my opinion, the reason that happened is because once it got close enough to our next red radar towers, it was then able to be influenced as I've shown in many, many videos. All right, now finally, I just want to conclude with this. One year ago, almost to the day, as you can see in this article, North Carolina lithium mine to reopen with $90 million Pentagon order to help increase U.S. production. My friends, if this is not screaming to you right now, I don't know what else can. Just take a look at how much lithium we've used year to year up to 2024. And then once again, ask yourself, what are the chances that this flood takes place in the biggest spot in the United States? that we can even mine this stuff. My friends, the information's there. It's been there. And if you don't go check it out now, it might not be there forever. I appreciate you all. I'm praying for every single person affected by this storm. What we are seeing out there is absolute tragedy and it seriously makes my heart break. All right, everyone, until the next video, I will talk to you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.